Hello there, YouTube. Project for today is to replace this. Whoa, right in my face. We got a bad hose on the windshield washer. Spraying on the camera, you can see it. I think you got enough getting in my face here. Okay, we'll get to this. It's about 45 degrees out. It's going to be about 50. We're going to get to this and get it. Okay, we'll show how this route's here. It's leaking under here somewhere. Your squirter's up here. Where it squirts on the windshield. It comes down through here. Makes a little turn with a fitting. They go over here. Keep following me here. To a junction. And this is hard plastic. Okay, this is rubber. This is hard plastic. Now, this car has 150,000 miles on it, but... We had a problem a while back, a couple years ago. This rubbed on a battery and got a hole in it. This is a piece of an N10 off a transistor radio. I had to do this in the cold of winter. I heated this pl hard plastic lineup with a hair dryer and used it as a heat gun and shoved this pipe in here. Okay. And now this will rub on the battery. So, battery will probably wear through before the hose will, because that's metal. But here's another repair I did. I do it in the middle of winter. Use a little electrical wire and hold it. But this is hard plastic. Now I bought six feet of this stuff just in case we got to replace more of it. Because here's the driver's side. Here's your squirter. Now these things go underneath the spring. Okay? Or inside the spring, I should say. So if the holes don't fit, I got to make it fit. So I only got the only size they had in the store. Okay? So what we're going to do is. We're going to unhook it here, we're going to open up the hood and work on it, or close the hood I should say, work on it with the hood closed. We're just going to unplug it here, and then we'll measure our hose accordingly. We'll show you a clip of how it goes underneath the wiper. I'm not taking the wiper off, arm off. We had trouble with these, I don't know if these are splined or beveled. Some cars are beveled, we had this come loose. We had a windshield replaced in this car, so we don't know what the deal is. I hope these are tapered, because we had a block of ice down here after I tightened it, it hit the block of ice and loosened the wiper again. I don't have time to take this off and take all the leaves out, but it should be a little cleaner in the hood, but this car has 150,000 miles on it. It runs just as good as when it was brand new. 04 Cavalier, the Echotec 2.2. I'm using a Ford fan, but I'm not partial just to one vehicle. These are a good little four-cylinder. This thing will go. This thing still gets 35, 36 miles a gallon on the interstate. 150,000 miles. Always was serviced. Well, enough of that chatter. We'll get this hood shut. Have to unhook that hose. Then we will work on it with the hood shut so we can lay over the hood because we're not worrying about scratching nothing on the paint. Okay, I don't know how easy this is going to be to see. This is running through the spring. You got a spring here. Yeah, if you can see the spring on the camera, because I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. We're going to take the wiper arm off. Instead of fighting and playing over the head, we decided to take the wiper arm off. It's probably a 13 millimeter. I don't think it's a 14. We're going to take this arm off and work on it. Here's where your squirter is. We'll measure the exact amount of hose. We'll probably allow two more inches. So, we're going to just take the arm off. We're going to make this easier. We'll get this cap off down here. Take a pliers to get it off. But you get the idea. We may even show that how we take the arm off. We're going to make this easier. Best is since I can get to this one with the hood shut. The other one you got to have the hood open to tighten it. We're going to get to this one with the hood shut. So we're going to get the arm off and you get a better view of how that hose runs. Okay, we took the cap off. We used a half inch wrench because we can't find a 13 millimeter. We're hoping that arm comes off there. What we're hoping for is it's going to be too hard for me to lean over to try to thread this through that wiper arm when I can do it at my work desk. Okay, this is flying. Maybe I should put the telemacro. So I hopefully this other one's came loose twice, that it's wore out the hole in the wiper arm instead of this metal. This is a harder metal than this metal. 
So hopefully if this other one comes loose again, we don't have to replace this mechanism down in here. I've seen it on a YouTube video how they take this all out. I don't think it's too complicated. See how that hose runs through there? Spring and everything. If we don't go through the spring, we got zip ties we're going to put it beside the spring. So you get the idea right out here. Get out in the sun. We're going to take this to the workbench and put it in there. We won't show that, but we're showing it now. We will show it when we're done if we have to put zip ties or something on it. It was a lot easier. I had to open up the hood, of course, to get it off. I didn't have to have the hood open. I took the nut off. Don't lose your nut. I got it down in my pants pocket. This isn't taking very long here. We're going to go off to the workbench. Okay, quick view of this again. See how it runs through the spring? It runs down through these little clips holding it. Hopefully I can get it underneath there. Don't have to fight with them. But worst comes to worst, like I said, we bought some zip ties. We have four boxes and I can only need three of them, but we bought some little mini zip ties. Come on, camera, focus. Okay, now this is the hose we bought. They had some in bulk at our local O'Reilly's parts store. It was too big a diameter. This is 8 inch to me, but it's 7 64 It's 1 64 under an eighth of an inch. 8 64 would be 1 8. 8 goes there 1, 8 goes there 10. Okay, we're done with the math there. There, that'll show up better. 6 feet. So, we got enough to replace both sides. We wasn't going to take any chances. Okay, then we'll be back when we get the new hose in here, showing you whether, if we have to, we're going to go beside this spring and we're going to zip tie it. It won't go through this spring, we will go beside it. I'm not thinking it's going to go between it because I've already looked at the diameter of this hose. I do have my heater going. That's what you hear in the background. That's as small as we could get, people. This is going to be big, of course, because it's walled out and being shoved over the barb. You know, that piece. Because it swells up. So. It will go over it. I already tested it. It will go over there. You may have to warm it up, spit on it. Just don't use anything that will clog it up. And before I put it on the washer end up here, I may turn the washer on first to make sure I blow out any particles. Because you do not want to plug that. People take sewing machine needles and etc. to put in there. That's where it sprays on the windshield. You don't want to plug that up. You want to take it off, pump it a couple times, then stick it on. So I throw that tip in there. Because I plugged those metal ones on old cars back in the old days. Okay, enough of that. Like I said again, this is flying, so hopefully it destroyed this on the other wiper because it slipped two times. We don't know, we can't blame anybody. We did have a windshield put it, and all of a sudden we had a problem. These are spline. They're made to wear out before the other part on the car. So, we'll make this too long. We'll be back showing you how we replace the hose. Okay, it went through the spring. We just put that on there temporarily. I said we'll pump some fluid fluid through it first. If I remember right, that's where it run. It run on this side. It's hard to remember some of this stuff. Down here there's little clips. I started to think, am I going to have to break this to get this out? There's little clips here. See that? I can put this on here. You get the idea. It's kind of hard to do on camera. There. I pulled them off. Just be careful. And this run whatever. I'm assuming this direction. It's easy to forget this stuff. I left plenty of slack in here. Uh, this is your spring. That's where the hole was. I don't know if it rubbed, got cut by an ice scraper. Because I've looked at it. I don't think that it cracked by weather rot. It looks like almost maybe the ice scraper maybe come down and sliced it or something. Who knows? Here you go. It did fit through the spring. So you know that size will fit through your spring if you have to replace it on your similar year. Okay, we're going to go put it back on and run the hose. I left several inches extra. Trust me. There's probably that much extra from the old one. Because I may want to route a little bit better and take a little slack out of it. I may want a little bit more pulled up here, like this, so when this 
goes like that. That's why, because I never pull my wipers out away to scrape the windshield. I may lift them up once in a while, but that's the max of the bend. So, you see we got plenty there. That's where the hole was, is right in this area. It was actually a slight. Uh, I can get it on camera, I could show you. See that? See their wear hole, tear hole. That's kind of a joke in my day, but anyway, <clears throat> back to the subject. See that? Maybe just plain old rot from flexing or. Cause that's where it flexed. That's where it leaked. Where it bent here. Okay. No chit chat. Let's get it back on the car. There goes the northbound coal train, I bet. If it's real long, it usually is. If it's long or slow, it's coal train. If it's short, fast, it's just a freight train. But we do have coal trains going through here. 30 miles north, we have a coal plant, uh, electrical plant that burns coal. Find you another website, uh, another YouTube channel. Eastbound Coal Train. Leave me a mystery who I'm talking about there. Here we go, folks. I'd recommend pulling this off. I did blow through it. Pull this off, pump some fluid before you put it on. Don't plug these up. You may blow pressure backwards with an air gun or something, but you go sticking sewing needles and stuff in there. Remember, a sewing needle will break in a hole. Uh, straight pins, I used to clean in the old days. Straight pin will bend before it breaks. Sewing needle will snap off in there. There you go. Got them clips. Got that covered twice, okay? We're done, we're out of here, we're gonna put it back on the car and see if it works. Okay, I'm assuming this is the way it runs. I should have reviewed the video. Uh, if you're not gonna post something, if you film what you're taking apart, I still say film, video what you take apart, you'll be able to go back and review it. Okay, got the nut on there tight. Like I said those are splines, some of them were like a tapered fit. We're going to pull on the washers and see what happens. Okay, we don't care about the door dinger. She's just spraying. Take a look at this one. This one don't spray right. See how it sprays too low? That one sprays a little better. Don't waste all the fluid. I'm just doing the thing where you just pull and spray. So we'll probably have to address that issue. Job done.